All right, this is a new segment. We were at the bar the other night, and we're listening to some music, doing some karaoke. Yeah. One of my favorite songs, um, for good reason, mm. is Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. And I was like, hey, you know, I like this song. You don't really hear people talk about this song or sing no. this song or play this song on the radio Which a whole lot really anymore. Which is really weird. Because it was a big hit. Yeah. It was Peter Gabriel's first number one hit. And the video was revolutionary. It really is. Like, I, it's so cool. Like, I showed it to you, I think, your first time. Yeah. But I grew up with this video, and I just recall it being played all the time when I was a kid on MTV, and it just blew me away every time because it was, you know, all the stop motion animation and the claymation and the dancing chickens and... <laughs> Just everything about that music video just kind of blew me away. And then I remember seeing, I think it was a New Year's Eve special on MTV, like in the 2000s, them dropping some trivia that, you know, that was the number one most played video in MTV's history. And if it's the most played video on MTV, then arguably it's going to be the most played video of all time, right? Because MTV is the channel that plays the most music videos. Well, it used to be. True. Now it's YouTube. That's yeah. where we get music videos now. Yeah. Yeah surprisingly low number of youtube views for that song i think it was in like the five million range mm. which i would expect it to have gotten a lot more considering how popular it was and how innovative it was yeah but man that song is fantastic and it's funny because i really only know as much about peter gabriel as his singles and the two peter gabriel songs that primus covered <laughs> um which was intruder and uh, another one. I can't remember the other one. Um, but that's it. I've always really admired him as an artist, but I've never really gotten into some of his other work. Right. And honestly, can't name a single Genesis song that he was on. Because <laughs> they kind of blew up after he left the yeah, group. Yeah, once Phil Collins got in there. <clears throat> yeah, well, he left the group and call Phil Collins came to the forefront. Yeah. Um, but just the song Sledgehammer, to me, is such a big part of my childhood. You know, and I just now realized today I was looking through some song facts about Sledgehammer, but that's full of innuendo about his dick. Well, yeah. I didn't realize that. And it's funny what? whenever you were saying that song at karaoke the other night. I never, I just never put two and two together. And it's weird because like, you ever listen to a song that you've known your whole life and finally just like really listen to it? And think, wow, this song's about fucking. <laughs> I remember the first time I really listened to the lyrics of My Sharona. <laughs> and I was like, this song is dirty. <laughs> but yeah, Sledgehammer in such a British way is dirty. But here's a fun fact. You know how he says, you know, I could be your Big Dipper going up and down all around the bend? Yeah. That's actually the Big Dipper is like a famous roller coaster in the UK. Uh, and now that, that song makes sense. Yeah. Or I that didn't, line makes sense. I didn't know that. But to me, I never really, I just thought he's this weird eccentric dude that's just writing this nonsense song about being like, what do you even mean, be your sledgehammer? I mean, okay. So, and if you watch the video, the video itself like, it's, you know, it's got some sperm swimming around there at, at the, the beginning. beginning. And then he's, like, one with the cosmos. Yeah, at the and end. then and then it's just, like, fucking stop motion explosion of yeah. weird shit throughout the entire middle. So I guess I could see you not putting two and two together. Because the video was so absurd. <laughs> yeah. And to me, it's so hard to separate that song from the video. So You know what I'm saying? Because right. I think, you know, it was probably a bigger video hit than it was a radio hit. Right. And I had heard that song probably countless times before mm -hmm. I'd even seen you sing it at karaoke. Right. But they the the DJ had it on Laserdisc. Yeah. And, Old school. And there A was really good instrumental of it too. Yeah. And there was the the video that was behind it was literally like it the like, intro to a softcore porn like, or something. But did that dude on the video not look like Hugh Grant? A little bit. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it was. Maybe. Um, but like they were just like really just right about to bone. And I was like, well, yeah, obviously. Sledgehammer. But I, I think. Wanna be. But I think there's those songs. And this is kind of why I wanted to talk about it and kind of show my appreciation for it. This mm -hmm. isn't even a review. It's just talking about how much I like the song. I think there's those songs that you experience in your childhood that end up 
shaping the way you look at music mm. and the way you appreciate music because that song's a funky song yeah it is. and here's the thing man i love funky music and always have but also i love horns mm. i love music with horn sections i ended up getting into ska later on in life because of the horns and so i think that sledgehammer could have played a huge role in that without even me like consciously aware of it mm -hmm. because i loved that song so much because i loved the video so much <laughs> that maybe that song has more of an impact in my life than even i thought whenever i suggested that we even talk about it right does that make sense it what does I just said? it does um I'm i love just... that song digging in the dirt mm. anyway sorry i'm just surprised that it took you that long to figure out that it was about his dick it's weird, because you know what? There's probably a thousand songs that I know all the words to, but yet have no idea what they mean. Hmm. Or don't take the time to like actually like analyze them until I was reading the lyrics, and I'm like, I think he's talking about like fucking. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. See, I legitimately thought you knew this already. I'm not as smart as you think I am, Chris. I'm not <laughs> as clever. I'm, not as, I'm just not as clever <laughs> as you think I am. Like seriously, it just it just dawned on me today. <laughs> Literally today. Thirty five years old. Don't remember a time in my life that I wasn't aware of the song Sledgehammer by Peter Peter Gabriel. And just now it took me thirty five years <laughs> to realize that that song was about fucking <laughs> maybe thirty four. I think it came out in eighty four. Right. I was just like, you know, be your sledgehammer, what does that even mean? Like, does that just want to be your your sledgehammer? <laughs> you know? What does that even mean? I mean, I get it now, but whenever you're a kid, <laughs> yeah. when you're a kid, you don't question it. It's just a song and it's a fun song. And, you know, just the word sledgehammer is just a cool word, you know? So you just, it's kind of like out of your mind at that point. I guess you, when you're a kid, you've known the song least. for so long that you just don't question anything about it. It's just that's the sledgehammer song. Yeah, when it's you're it's not a about kid. a literal sledgehammer, but at the same time, it's got this really crazy nonsensical video. So why wouldn't the song be just as crazy and nonsensical as the video? Yeah, it's not. The <laughs> I guess. I mean, we're I'm just. just I guess I'm just surprised that you didn't realize it once you knew that fucking was a thing. I just. I don't know, man. Hmm. This is one of the mysteries of our time. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the Dork Age Podcast, episode 28. Um, what do you think about Sledgehammer? And do I like it too much? <laughs> you might like it too or much. Or do I not like it enough? Uh, but you also, yeah. I do love that song. It's a great yeah. song. I want to be your Sledgehammer, Chris. Well, well, we'll arrange something. If, if, if you want to be <laughs> our Sledgehammer, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our twitter page and like us like us on <laughs> facebook as well <laughs> yeah all right we're done screw up <laughs>